a lot going on this morning. Yeah. Today is the day, buddy. It is, man. All, All right. right. Coming. I know. So you are moving in today. You have... Okay. All right. You have two mailbox keys. Okay. Five key phones. Yeah. And these all they are all checked and ready to go. You two get one. Yeah. I'm going to uh, also see if we can confirm uh, which elevator is going to be uh, executive level for you, so you can have your own actual access to the elevator. That's going to allow you to pretty much call your own elevator. You don't have to share it. Okay. I'd like to say this feels like crazy different, but I've done this a thousand times already. But it's pretty cool. Now it's home. It'll feel really cool tomorrow when the bedroom stuff gets here. Bedroom stuff is tomorrow. This office is tomorrow. Can the our office upstairs is Thursday. 90 days. What's up everybody? Uh, I want to take a quick second out of this video to answer some questions that we've gotten a lot of. And it's a lot of questions and speculation as to why we need such a big penthouse. And the first thing I want to say is it's not so that we have some massive apartment to live in. It's not so that we have some over the top office to showcase our watch business because frankly we don't need any of that. There's a little bit more of a meaning behind that and I wanted to take you on a quick little mini tour to show you the place. We're not gonna do the whole thing because it's not furnished yet. Stuff's still coming. in the great room uh, it's I mean this space is massive this is gonna be plainly simply decorated it's gonna be a seating area over here another seating over seating area over here and then we're considering like a baby grand piano in the corner the point of this being when you have cocktail parties when we have uh, release parties when we have get-togethers of any kind clients want to come over client appreciation dinners which we're going to do once a month this is where you're going to entertain you have a bartender set up you've got somebody playing the piano it's just a very nice very elegant uh seating for cocktail parties now i want to take you out here really quick to the patio and actually i'm going to give you guys the uh an explanation of where this came to be and how it came about if you walk over here and you actually look at the building right here this is the level building and if you that in that whole top two floors is the penthouse there for any of you guys that remember the video back um, on the super bowl we were invited out to be a vendor at this uh at the athletes first organization to where we set up our our store back in the closet now i was one of 10 vendors for a three-day weekend we paid 20 grand to set up there I don't know what the other guys paid, but let's just assume we all paid the same. The Athletes First organization brought in 200 grand in one week, or I'm sorry, one weekend. Now let's just assume they spent 100 grand uh, on catering, on security. They still brought in 100 grand, which is a more than enough to pay the whole month's rent for that lease. As we were finishing up our event there, uh, Ellis, guy you've seen in some of my videos, invited me to come up and just check it out, like shoot some content. We got to walking around and looking at all this space, and then we were talking prices. I actually made a joke in one of my videos where I offered him 80 grand a month on a year lease to take this place. And he responded back that it wasn't that far off and that they were willing to negotiate. So we got to run in some numbers and we got to talking. And whenever I factor in what it was gonna cost me for a house for myself and for Darby and for Liz and for Brian and for everyone else. And then what it was going to cost me for an, uh, an office in Beverly Hills and then the cost of outfitting it. And then you prorate all that into a monthly expense. We were already around 50 to 55,000. Now at 95,000, I'm 40,000 away from covering the same amount of rent I was going to have to cover the other way. If I can just think of a way to cover that extra amount, now I have this place, this place as my experience, as my home, as my office. So how do I do that? 
Well, in June, we've got two different events that are going to be uh, held here. One with a liquor company, they want to do a private tasting. They're paying me $10,000 for eight hours. The other is going to be a two-day commercial. I can't say who it is, but they're going to be shooting a commercial here, and they're, they're going to rent the space for two days. They're paying me $35,000. I've already covered that extra 40,000 plus some. I also have a couple of people I'm talking to about renting the space out, you know, for three or four hours here to do headshots. One's for a realty company, one's for a tech company. Um, they just want to do some photos. And I've also got an art gallery that's potentially interested in uh, staging some art here for their, for their uh, gallery. So it's just a lot of little things. I have another idea for an influencer day where people, once the place is fully furnished, they can come out and you know, use the gym upstairs, use the movie theater, use the pool, use the kitchen. Uh, I showed you guys the great room. I'm only gonna show you three rooms in this house. The great room, this patio kitchen area, that's gonna be uh, for formal cocktail events. It's gonna open out into this. This space is pretty much gonna stay very empty. That way it can be uh, staged for the different events. I don't really feel the need to show a big empty apartment there's actually a video on there and i'll link it in the description that breaks this place down but come on up to what is going to be our showroom and office got a video i haven't seen this in person yet but when i first saw this spot and we saw where the gym is going to go and then we saw how it steps down another level to the pool and then it steps down another level to what is also another epic view almost a 320 degree view of la there was a sunset there and I was like, man, this would be the perfect spot to have my own backyard, 52 stories up. So Doug with Cityscape uh, Landscape helped me find turf and they've been up here doing this all day. Wow. This is awesome. So I told Doug and he has been amazing at getting the perfect trees and plants and everything set up but i told them the idea up here is i want to feel like when it's done you're in a very well manicured backyard but you're 52 stories up again if you look at the views all the way around here we've got a fire pit right here we're going to do an outdoor dining right here we'll do a four person uh chase lounge kind of thing with the small fire pit so you can sit up here, have a cocktail, have a cigar, uh, have, a, have dinner. And the pool's right up here. So it's just, I don't know, it's just a really cool outdoor space that you wouldn't think you could find this high up in the middle of downtown. But come on in here. All right, so welcome to the official TPG sh uh, office and showroom. You walk in, you're going to have a fully stocked wet bar with everything you can imagine. Uh, one of the cool things is whenever you go to book an appointment with us, it's going to ask you what your favorite drink is, what's your favorite color. We're going to customize. When you walk in, there's going to be a nice uh, tray with your drink of choice ready for you, name tag and your favorite color. Just little bitty accents to kind of personalize the experience. You come in, we've got a little conference table. Our bookkeeper and accounting will be right there. My desk, Liz's desk. You got great views. This is where she and I will work to bring clients. This is going to be the actual showroom. Now, obviously nothing's in here yet, but Darby, go ahead and pop up some images. Now the images you're seeing are, uh, it's like a scaled down replica of what the Dallas store was actually supposed to be. So you walk in, you're gonna have this grand look with uh, built-in wall displays. You'll have floating cabinets that sit right out in front of it have two seating areas for overflow which would be like our back-end sales guys when they have clients they can bring them up here pull stuff out of the showcases and they can do their deals right here over here and again beautiful views you can see the hollywood hills sign over there i am not good with geography so i don't know what's that way but it's just awesome when it's clear <laughs> so uh more um in wall displays with more floating cabinets right out here. So two walls of watches, four displays, and then back here is gonna be jewelry. Now, I don't do jewelry yet, but I'm hoping that once this whole thing is designed and outfitted, I can go spend some time down in the jewelry district or just reach out to some people and partner up with a jeweler or two to fill this thing up and give, give people more options. So it's a work in progress. 
Uh, there's one other thing. So this is the office. I mean, this is where we're going to spend most of our time. But the last thing I want to show you for right now, something that's going to be more for like my influencer stuff. We could move furniture around where some of they want to do a yoga class up here. Guess what? Personal trainer wants to rent the space out for the day, do outdoor yoga or Pilates or something. There you go. Come on up here. This lights up at night. It's warm. This is going to be like a kind of a cabana lounge area. This is all going to be padded and this will be an outdoor gym. So you got the rock climbing wall right here. It's going to have, I believe I got eight, seven or eight machines along with cardio and a ton of free weight, uh, body weight stuff. So this will be a full gym. So influencers, whether it's guys, girls want to come out, girls, they want to do workouts and in private without anybody bothering them here you go you got a badass to you about behind it guys want to work out shirts off nobody judging you again got a full gym i can rent this out or have people pay for packages to come in and do it i don't know i'm playing with the idea but at the end of the day it'll be a full gym for my the rest of my staff and myself too as well and down there there's like a wet sauna dry sauna more showers stuff like that so you pretty much almost never have to leave it or leave this place so it's pretty cool we've got day beds coming out here and then our audio video guy has a bunch of rock speakers so this whole place is wired up also for sound you can control it from the ipad you can have uh, sound in any and every room in the house you can control the volumes out here it's going to be awesome if people want to rent it out for a pool party or something i don't know I've mentioned all, renting the space out, running my business. I forgot to mention something earlier. So I've read in some of the comments when we were still doing this, you know, maybe I didn't consider the fact that I'm not going to be allowed to run a business out of here. I'm not going to be able to allow or be allowed to have all these people out here. I don't want anybody to worry about that. Everything I'm going to be doing here has already been discussed with the, with the building. You know, obviously we're putting these videos out there. It's wouldn't really make sense for me to try to get away with something and then film it and put it on social media. So uh, I can say this, that the Ani building is extremely excited we're here. They've been working over the top to make sure that this place comes together the way we envision it and getting that was close. I love helicopters and I love planes. So that's never going to get old. Just standing up here, or even sitting in the office working in the day, you see, they fly by three or four times a day. The other day we had one circle the building like six times. It's just, it's actually pretty cool. I'm waiting for one to land. It hasn't happened yet, but who knows? But anyway, what I was saying guys is that everything we plan to do with this place, every single thing I've talked about has already been approved. It's been, it's been discussed. You know, this is not the kind of place you can just go throw some crazy party or run a business out of and then put it all on social media and think you're going to get away with it so i don't want you guys to worry about that um i want you guys to enjoy it you know we have i plan to do fan meetups client appreciations if you come here and you know one of the ideas i have is if you as a client book an appointment you come in person you see the place you shop you buy at the end of the month we're going to throw a, an appreciation party what that's going to look like i don't know dinner drinks uh get to come back see more exclusive inventory that we don't keep here i, I don't know but that's going to be one of the perks of shop you don't have to go inside i know is it the same one it's so cool when they get close i love that let's go inside guys oh by the way this place is going to be fully furnished it is coming in stages if you've bought, if you've ever bought in furniture, even before the pandemic, you know, nothing ever comes right away. And most of the time it doesn't even come when they tell you it's going to come. So we have stuff pretty much just showing up randomly every week for the next two months until this place is done. The, uh, the outfitting of the showroom, <clears throat> I actually signed the contract a couple days ago. They're going to start on that next week and they are expecting it to be done by mid to late July, which is why we're hoping everything's done by then for an August 1st grand opening. So, uh, I can't wait guys. I'm excited. Um, every single time something gets added, the vision, it comes to life more and more. So I can't wait for you guys to see the finished product. I'm gonna get back to training with the guys. Uh, let me know what you did like. Let me know what you didn't like. Let me know what kind of things you'd like to see here. Uh, and we'll take some stuff into consideration.